What is up, you guys? I am Tony Metro. The breaking news today, free agent starting pitcher Charlie Morton has agreed to sign a deal with the Atlanta Braves. Earlier today, it was announced that the Atlanta Braves have signed Charlie Morton to a one-year deal worth $15 million. Behind Trevor Bauer, there is no doubt that Charlie Morton was the next best free agent starting pitcher this offseason. And now, teams that need starting pitching will have to pivot elsewhere to fill those holes. So let's jump into this deal, and I'm going to tell you what it means for the Atlanta Braves as well as their rivals. Charlie Morton was actually drafted by the Braves in 2002, and he made his big league debut for the team in 2008. This was actually the starting lineup for the Braves in Charlie Morton's debut back in 2008. After his rookie season with the Braves, Morton has spent time with the Pirates, Phillies, Astros, and Tampa Bay Rays. But it wasn't until 2017 at the age of 33 that Charlie Morton finally emerged as one of the game's best starting pitchers. In his first season with the Houston Astros, Charlie Morton pitched to a 3.68 ERA, a 3.46 FIP, and a 113 ERA+. Plus. In addition, Charlie Morton started Game 7 of the 2017 World Series on the way to the Houston Astros title. But in 2018, Charlie Morton pitched even better with a 3.13 ERA for the Astros. However, it was Charlie Morton's 2019 season where he pitched to a 3.03 ERA, a 146 ERA plus, and finished third in Cy Young voting behind only Justin Verlander and Garrett Cole. Overall, from 2017 to 2019 with the Astros and Rays, Charlie Morton made 55 starts with a 3.36 ERA and a 123 ERA+. Plus. And one of the biggest reasons for Charlie Morton's success over the last few years is his ability to throw five different pitches in the strike zone at any time. Charlie Morton's most thrown pitch is his four-seam fastball at 35%, but his second most thrown pitch is his curveball at 32% and his third most thrown pitch is his sinker at 21%. Additionally, Morton throws his cutter at 9% and his split finger at 2%. Now, I understand 2020 was a down season for Charlie Morton. Morton had two different trips to the injured list this season, and in just nine games started, pitched to a 4.74 ERA. And it wasn't just Morton's traditional statistics. Metrics show that Morton had a considerably down season, but when he was healthy in 2019, Charlie Morton was among the best in all of these metrics. In 2019, Charlie Morton's exit velocity ranked in the top 88 percentile, his hard hit percentage in the 79th percentile, his whip percentage in the 76th percentile, his ex woba in the 86th percentile, and his ex slugging in the 89th percentile. Despite his down year in 2020, Charlie Morton has all the peripherals of one of the best starting pitchers in baseball. And I have got to say, it was a great move by the Atlanta Braves. Over his career, Morton's proven that he's a big game pitcher with a 3.36 ERA in 13 postseason starts. And even though 2020 was not his best regular season, Morton bounced back in the postseason with a 2.79 ERA in 19 and a third innings pitch. And already early in the offseason, the Atlanta Braves have cornered the starting pitching market. After signing Drew Smiley to a one-year $11 million deal last week, the Braves now have a potential rotation of Max Fried, Mike Soroka, Charlie Morton, Ian Anderson, and Smiley. The Braves have almost no risk in this deal at just one year and $15 million. In fact, this has been the strategy that the Braves and Alex Andropoulos have employed over the last few years. Last year, the Braves gave Marcelo Zuna a one-year deal, and he rewarded them with an MVP caliber season. So while the Braves are probably the biggest winner in this deal, the Tampa Bay Rays are easily the biggest loser of this deal. The Rays declined Charlie Morton's one-year $15 million option earlier this offseason. And now, to watch Morton walk to another team for the exact same deal is crushing. The Rays are known for creativity during the offseason, but this was a terrible move to let Morton walk. In addition, this makes me 0 for 1 on my top 10 free agent predictions. In that video, I predicted Charlie Morton would sign with the Houston Astros. But apparently this signing did not come as a surprise to Buster Only, who tweeted today that it came down to either signing with the Rays or the Atlanta Braves. So what do you guys think? Do the Braves now have the strongest rotation in the National League? Do you think the Rays made a mistake in letting Charlie Morton walk? And who do you think will be the next big free agent coming off the board this offseason? And bonus, if you haven't already entered my giveaway contest, be sure to watch my previous video and you'll be entered for a chance to win this picture of the 1969 Mets starting rotation. Thank you guys for watching. I have been your host, Tony Metro.